Hey everybody, welcome to another video. You're gonna get two videos in two days. I mean, something's going right or wrong. <laughs> uh, um, so in this video, it's just again, gonna be a pretty quick one. One of the limits of my capability that I've had for a while is uh, that I am unable to rest um, the suspended wheel components of a car um, if I want to do some, say, tightening up of some, let's say, um, uh, end links for the sway bars, right? Your suspension has to be loaded for you to be able to make adjustments to adjustable end links, which is something I will be doing um, as I install the um, white line. Let me show as I install the white line uh, anti roll bars, sway bars, um, and then I've got the uh, corresponding adjustable end links to go with that but to be able to tighten those as I've said you have to have the suspension components loaded to get the right preload um, I can explain more of that when when the time comes um, so to be able to do that with the wheels hanging with the car up in the air the wheels hanging down is no good and if the car is on the ground I can't get underneath it um, and, and do the tightening of the of the bolts so what I need to be able to do is to get the car up and then build four little platforms or little stands which I can put under the wheels, all four wheels, because end links on all four corners. And then when I lower the car, the wheels go on it and those boxes then take the load with lift like that far up. Um, from the car so the the boxes are loaded and even if they break whatever um you know it's not the end of the world but it's it's sort of, it's sort of going to serve two purposes one is added safety and two is it adds more capability to a lot of the stuff that i can do um i can tighten um, suspension components whilst they're on load or whilst they're loaded which is which is big really so i'm just going to do a diy solution Basically, I've bought some 4x4, 1.2 meter lengths. So 4x4 is 4x4 inches. Uh, 1.2 meters is probably like, I don't know, um, six feet? No, no, less than that. Yeah, it's way less than that. Can't be six feet, I'm six foot. Um, so yeah, whatever 1.2 meters is um, in feet, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna just make, I got a really good deal on them. I bought them used from a guy. Um, I got like, uh, I think it was 16 pieces, 1.2 meters long, four by four, delivered for 40 pounds. So it's brilliant. There's some 150 millimeter screws. So these are six inch, six inch wood, uh, wood screws. Just to put it all together and some wood glue. I've got that, and I've got that, and I've got a, I've got a sawzall, but I've also got a circular saw, and I've got a jigsaw, so I'll see which one is the best option for that. So I'm just gonna start cutting, screwing, and gluing, and yeah, just thought you might wanna see. Here we go. So I've got the um, 1.2 meter, so 1.2 meter is about four feet. Um, and here we go. So I'll get three pieces out of this, 40 centimeters each, whatever that is in. 40 centimeters is 16 inches. Yeah, there you go. 16 inches, and then these are the tools I have to work with. So the circular saw is not deep enough to go all the way through. So I'll probably have to do one cut, turn it over, do another cut, and we should be kosher. So I'm just gonna put it on time lapse. And I've got quite a few of these to cut. I'm not cutting them in here. Turn around camera. Here we go. So I'm not gonna cut them in here, obviously, because it will just create such a huge mess. Um, but yeah, ain't nothing to it but to do it.
Alright, all the timber is cut. Here it is. So, I'm just gonna move this from here into there and uh, start the assembly process. So, here comes another time lapse. <laughs> Right, so I've done one. It's here and it's nice. You can see some glue and some screws. My advice would always be to do some pilot holes, otherwise the wood would split. Um, I obviously had some extra wood because you know wood is a natural material, so you never know how it's gonna be when it shows up. Plus, this is used, so I only paid like 40 pounds including delivery for this wood so as opposed to it would have been like 150 you know nearly 200 pounds so I'm not complaining <clears throat> so uh, yeah it's uh, it's pretty good um, so I've got some other pieces which I don't know what I'm gonna do with probably just burn or whatever but yeah it's uh, coming along one's done other three to go it's just the same process so basically I have 150 millimeter screws. Um, again, whoa, they're four inches, blah, 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 look. Yeah, so they're not gonna go through. So this is why I'm drilling pilot holes and I'm drilling these screws halfway into the top wood so they have a good um, contact point as well. Um, but yeah, once it's all done, I'll have four of those and then the car can sit on top and I can bring the lift down. So for instance, So as soon as the wheels make contact and the lift is unloaded, I'll stop. So I'll still have safety as well. So safety is number one. Um, but yeah, I've got three more to do. I'm not going to bore you with another time lapse. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we have clear access to everything. This is good. Project successful. <laughs> this is it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to do something like this yourself, you can now. It's not that hard. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, yeah. Peace out.